Clever bean tablets have recently been approved in the United States for the treatment of relapsing remitting disease as well as active secondary progressive disease. In the United States, clatter bean tablets are not indicated for patients with a clinically isolated syndrome. But behind uh, the data that are currently part of the approval in the United States, there is an additional trial, and this trial was carried out in patients after the first demyelinating event. This is the Oracle trial. And the studies that we present is a subgroup analysis of individuals uh, to see whether or not we can identify uh, age groups, activity groups, as well as disease severity groups that may or may not respond to the treatment. And in the studies that we will present, the subgroup analysis of the patients from the Oracle trial, we can show that both younger and older patients with the first demyelinating event profited from the intervention. So the results were significant compared to the placebo cohort. Uh, we also see that patients with more or less lesions at the initial presentation and with gadolinium or no gadolinium enhancing lesion profit. We also could demonstrate that patients with a polysymptomatic first event, so more than just optic neuritis or a transverse myelitis, uh, also profited and that patients with a simple onset, just one sim uh, symptom complex, uh, profited in this. So with that, uh, this study that is now uh, presented as a subgroup analysis uh, shows us that a wide range of patients may profit. Again, this is currently outside of the indication within the United States. Interestingly, in the future will be uh, whether these patients from the Oracle trial can be reconvened and one can actually evaluate whether intervention with an agent such as cladribin tablets may potentially have a benefit way beyond the initial uh, treatment cycle. So I hesitate to use the word, but still whether this is an induction treatment or a conditioning treatment where an upfront treatment may potentially affect the disease course over a very long period of time. Adrabine tablets has an interesting development in that the clinical trials were actually performed some time ago and patients were subsequently off treatment followed in the premier registry and so we have almost 10 years of follow-up in some patients. Uh, so there are, is a lot of information of upfront treatment and then follow-up in these particular patients. So yes, there is data. Uh, there is less data on retreated patients and so that's something that perhaps over the period of time will need to be uh, remedied. Uh, it's probably something that is not going to be done in the United States early on because uh, approval in other countries was earlier and so we may have data from other areas.